This tutorial video will cover the a feature called in-rip separations. Uh, historically, if you wanted to print an RGB bitmap for screen printing, you had to load the RGB bitmap in CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW would uh, separate the RGB into its component plane, CMYK, and send each plane at a time down to the RIP for printing. To improve this workflow, to add to that convenience, you know, we, the RIP filmmaker will do the separations for you. So there's no need to have that extra step configuring CorelDRAW to send separate planes. So it's a very simple scenario to show you. These are the sample pictures from the Windows library. Any of these RGB images will suffice. I'm just going to bring in the Tulips one to show you that um, the Quick Rip on the preview is going to show us that we have four pages and it also names the individual plates for us, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Uh, this has already been now separated into its component planes. It's as simple as that. That's what the feature is supposed to do. So if you had wanted to screen print this Tulips picture, uh, normally you would then have to open it in CorelDRAW and enable separations in CorelDRAW and just simply send the individual plates that way. That additional step is no longer required. If this feature is not intended or wanted, then you can uh, turn off in RIP separations. It is under the Q menu properties. Under print mode overrides. Under calibration control. There is a checkbox for in-rip separations. Turning it off is just unchecking it and say OK. The feature is off. You can drag in an RGB image. You will only get one plate, one page for it. And we treat the RGB as uh, basically as converted to a grayscale and half-toned in that manner. That's it. That's the end of this video.